Hi, this is Todd Oltoff, and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online. An essential but often forgotten application on all Macs and iOS devices is the Contacts application. While the Mac Contacts application is sufficient for the basics of storing and using contacts, it really is a basic application overall. In my search for a better contacts experience, I found CardHop by Flexibits. Flexibits first offered CardHop as a standalone application next to its award-winning calendaring application, Fantastical. We've covered both applications in the past here on Screencasts Online. Over time, Flexibits moved to a subscription model where you can get access to CardHop for free with limited features or pay a monthly or annual fee and you get all of the features of CardHop and Fantastical as well, which ends up being a really good deal at $39.99 annually for an individual or $65.04 for a family of five. CardHop takes contacts to the next level and really could be called the contacts application that Apple should have developed. It has a beautiful interface that lives in your menu bar and has a number of features like various built-in actions that can be performed using natural language. There are also customizable widgets and close integration with Fantastical, which I use frequently together. I love my experience with CardHop on all of my devices and will show you in this screencast how I use it on a regular basis. So let's get started by launching CardHop for the first time. Before I go ahead and launch CardHop, I wanted to show you what the Contacts application looks like just for contrast. So this is Apple's Contacts. And so as you can see here, I am in one of my particular contacts here. I'm in Todd's Contacts. And these are all the different people that are in here. And you can see their contact information over here. So again, a pretty basic application. It does the job. It gets some things done. Uh, but what I want to show you is what the difference is between this and CardHop. So I just wanted to give you a quick look at this. What's great is when we launch CardHop, it is going to connect to the contacts application that I have on my Mac, and it will pull all of that information into CardHop as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just put this down here, and we're going to come here and launch CardHop for the first time. So when we do that, we get a setup window and it tells us it's only gonna take a few short steps to get it set up. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click on continue. And so it's gonna ask for access to my contacts so that it can bring everything in and so those things can be shared back and forth. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just say continue. And so what's gonna ask me to do is if I have an account with Flexibits, I'm gonna sign in with Apple because that's a part of the subscription service or I can use another sign-in method. The other option I have is I can create an account over here as well if I don't have an account yet. Now, since I do have uh, the subscription with Flexibits, I'm gonna go ahead and sign in with my Apple ID. So now what it's going to do is ask me if I wanna open CardHop at login. And this is one of the things that I want to do. I wanna have my contacts available to me. And as you're going to see, it lives up in the menu bar. In fact, you can see right now that the icon is up here. And this is one of the great things about the application that I really like is it's easily accessible from the menu bar. So I want to definitely open CardHop at login so that it does show up there in my menu bar. And then I have the option to join their mailing list or just get started with opening CardHop. So let's go ahead and click open CardHop. And so here we are, we're in the application and it's giving me uh, some welcome information. So what it's telling me here is how to search and interact with my contacts over here. And I'm gonna show you how to do that as we go through. But as you can see, there are some easy ways to get your contacts into CardHop itself using natural language. And I'm gonna cover that more in depth. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say, got it right here for that. Since the application lives in the menu bar, you can see that it is attached to the menu bar item above. And I'll show you how to work with that more in a little bit. But one of the first things I need to do is give CardHop access to my contacts. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members-only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. 
Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencast Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.